Hello everyone. Let me see if I can find you. I think I'm live now. Hi, welcome everybody. I hope everything is okay. Yes, I think I'm in. <laughs> Hi, hello everyone. Good to see you. Hi, Michelle, Candace, Alice, Ruli. Hi, good to see you. How are you all doing? I hope you are fine. Well, it's Esther here instead of Alice on a Wednesday evening, Wednesday afternoon. It depends on wherever you are. Hi, Lisanne. Hi, Geesje, Natasha, Linda. Good to see you. Ineke, hello. So good to see you all over here. Okay, um, I think I'm going to start immediately. Or shall I wait a few minutes to see who else is joining us? Hi, Cora. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Marga, hoi hoi. Hi, Petra. A lot of Dutchies. Hi, Jona. <laughs> good to see you, Angelique. <laughs> hi, hi. Okay, I'm going to start. <laughs> hi, Candice. <laughs> hi, Debbie. Good to see you. Okay, um, what I was planning on showing you today um, is two little projects, two small projects I've been working on uh, during my YouTube lives. And I know uh, not everybody has seen those, so I'm going to show it you very briefly what I've done um, the past few weeks over there. Uh, and if you like it, you can hop over to my YouTube channel and uh, watch the videos over there. Because uh, I had some questions from people because those lives I do on YouTube, they are in Dutch. And it's really hard to do translations over there or do the videos again in English. So that's why I wanted to show it to you um, and tell you a little bit about it in English. And then you can watch the videos on YouTube. So then you will get to, uh, to see what I'm doing and I'm sure you will understand what I'm doing by watching it. <laughs> hi all, hi Patricia, Sylvia, Viv, good to see you. Hi Ellie, Belinda. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to work on this one uh, a little bit later. And I'm first going to show you two little projects um, I've been working on and um, well, I'm, I'm using a lot of those um, plastic pocket pages at the moment because um, <laughs> uh, I love to use them. And oh, yes, I missed you too last night, Angelique. Hi, Sandra. Good to see you, Julie. <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome. Um, the plastic pocket pages. Yes, I love using those. Um, and I'm also going to show you what else you can do with them. I am going to pick a few of the empty folders the empty pocket pages one moment please i forgot those where are they oh i think i've got the wrong ones over here the wrong size toot, 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 toot. Oh, they are not in my storage binder uh, okay here's a half one and i'm going to stand up really quickly and pick uh, a new set get a new set one moment <laughs> Okay, here they are. Ah, oh, hi Lenny. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm 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 over here, <laughs> not on YouTube today. Okay, the pocket pages. What I've been doing here, I made a little book um, with pocket pages cut in half. So uh, that's what I wanted to show you um, to show you the size I have been using. Hi Nancy. <laughs> It probably makes a lot of noise <laughs> getting those out. And for this little booklet, I've been using those pocket pages, you know. There are two on top of each other and they are the small ones. So what I did is I cut them in half. So you will get this and then just use uh, those binder rings. And this will make you a very nice uh, mini album, mini journal. So it's just... Um, for those who have, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, uh, it's for those who haven't seen those uh, YouTube lives. So that's why I'm uh, explaining it, explaining it a little bit. 
on Facebook tonight. So uh, the only thing you have to pay attention to is uh, when you cut those in half that you are cutting uh, below the stitched um, edge over here. Because if you are cutting uh, above the edge then your pocket doesn't have a bottom. bottom. So um, cut underneath the stitched line and then uh, it will give you two of those um, sizes. Uh, what I also did for this one is uh, I made the cover and for that one I have been using uh, one of the bigger dies um, from one of the earlier sets uh, and it has two large um, tags. So it's one of those tags uh, which I have been folding and I've been cutting it twice, one for the back side, one from the front for the front side. And if you want to know more about this, you can go to my YouTube channel and um, watch the video and so you can make those little journals yourself. I will go through it a little bit briefly uh, to show you what I've been doing. I've been using those frames from one of the die sets too. And this is the same size as um, when you do project, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Project Life. Uh, these are three by four inches uh, pockets. So you can use your uh, Project Life cards also if you have those. Uh, but this I did with uh, one of the stamps, uh, one of the die sets, which also have those frames and those little sentiments uh, glued on top of the frames. So, oh, you would spend all day watching my videos, Susan. That's really nice. <laughs> Um, so it's a really cool uh, journal this way I think and you can make it for all kinds of um, uh, how do you say it let me think uh, events or maybe you go on a holiday or a weekend getaway and I made this one just for fun with all bits and pieces in there this one says chocolate good things <laughs> I think chocolate is always a good thing one of my girls with a little uh, butterfly wing so you can see here's a little collage uh, inside. So it's just to show you what you can do with those pocket pages besides using them uh, in the regular planner. So it's just to give you an idea. So again, if you wanna, oh, and I made a closure with the magnets, two little magnets over here. So uh, it closes up uh, quite good, I must say. It's the first time I have been using magnets in a closure. So. I didn't do that before, <laughs> so, well, and it works pretty well, I, I must say. Okay, hi Cindy, <laughs> hello Ohio, good to see you. Yeah, you can use a fuse tool too, but uh, I have one and I think the thing is a nightmare. But that's my personal opinion, um, for me this works much easier. So, um... Yeah, the little book with the pocket pages. Then I am working on uh, a travel journal, also uh, only filled with pocket pages. I'm going on a vacation, on a holiday next week, or the week after, sorry. And um, for that I wanted to make it easy for me on the go um, to do some journaling or add some pictures in a journal. So um, that's why I am working on this. Well, actually, it's almost finished. Uh, I did this in, uh, I think, one or two YouTube lives in Dutch. But again, I wanted to show it to you in English too. Um, yeah, so maybe that's also an idea for you when you are going uh, away for uh, a holiday this summer. Or uh, What I did, I only filled it with pocket pages, as you can see. Um, the long story is on YouTube again, but I'm going to show it to you briefly. So I am thinking, I'm bringing this journal with me on a holiday. And I made a little list, a small list, of other things I need to bring with me. Uh, um, to start with a photo printer, because I like to work with pictures. Uh, I'm Now I'm only a little bit in doubt uh, what photo printer I should bring, because my Canon selfie is printing this one, the square pictures, and I think those are about, let me measure, oh, um, three and a half by three and a half inch. So that's the perfect size for me um, to put them in those pockets, those square pockets, as you can see. But then I also got this printer, it's the Canon Square, 
and I actually I didn't use it quite a lot yet but I was thinking okay this might be a good one to bring on a holiday but I printed one picture this afternoon and it was actually a bit smaller than I thought it would be so um, it will give me a result like this so now I am in terribly doubt <laughs> Uh, which one should I bring on my holiday, on my vacation? So, um, probably I will end up putting those, uh, both those printers in uh, our camper van. Um, while I was thinking of bringing only one. So, yeah, that's uh, still a little bit uh, something I have to decide. So, um, my intention is to bring my journal, a printer, <laughs> a photo printer. Uh, uh, some glue or glue tape, uh, a one hole punch, uh, something like this. So if I find something which I would like to add uh, in the ring binder, in the journal itself, I'm going to use my punch so I don't need to bring uh, a die cutting machine or something. Um, I'm also bringing a date stamp, something like this, just a simple office stamp. Uh, a pair of scissors, uh, a little paper cutter, um, and that's it actually, I think. Maybe a pen. <laughs> yeah, and I probably uh, will take both printers, Lisanne. You are right. <laughs> no, I hope it doesn't melt too, Belinda. It's really, it's that warm over here too. <laughs> Um, so uh, I think I probably will end up with both printers, <laughs> bringing them with me. Um, because I think it's fun either way okay so what I did is um, I put in those sizes of pages uh, pocket pages to put on uh, put in some uh, embellishments some decorative items so I made a few things already for this so it says summer 2022 uh, here's one of the postcards I put in uh, it says fan life uh, these um, elements so the, the smaller pages again I put in some um, stamped images from one of our sets and I combined them with uh, one of the dies of course so these will be for journaling and I already stamped the dates on it so my plan is to have one picture every day and uh, one of those pockets for journaling so what we've been doing those days or what we're going to do so um, I hope this works for me, so I will sh uh, go through it uh, a little bit quick so you can see. Uh, it's only been prepping, uh, putting in some pieces of paper. Uh, I used only some leftover pieces. And, um, yeah, here I did some stamping, some die cutting, some decorative elements. And the rest, I oh, <laughs> well, the the live I did the other day, I think it was last week. We had some people's birthdays in uh, the month of August, so I had to write them down, put them in the the correct date, so I can uh, send them a message um, when we are um, in Spain or in France. I'm not sure where we are on those days. Um, again, some decorative elements, the little girls on the suitcases. I did those too. Um, Yes, a picture a day, Kathy. I'm not sure, I, I don't think I'm able to make it, but uh, I put in some extra uh, empty pockets in the back so I can add some more. So one picture a day is, uh, is not enough for me too, I guess. But uh, I wanted to keep it a little bit simple for me uh, this holiday. Uh, I don't want to bring too much uh, art supplies. So I hope I'm able to do it this way. It's the first time I'm doing it this uh, this way, so I hope it works. So again, some space, some space for journaling, uh, some decorative elements, the globe, one of the um, uh, the little van <laughs> uh, as a decorative element, and yeah, this is my journal um, for our uh, upcoming holiday. So maybe this is something. Um, you might be interested in too so you can see the whole process um, on my YouTube uh, also so uh, again you can also use this for a special uh, occasion of course now I'm going to use this for my holiday but let's say if you are uh, having a wedding or um, I don't know maybe something else your garden you want to take pictures of your garden or well there's so many possibilities uh, to make a journal like this 
and I think it works quite quick when you are putting in um, the pieces of paper in advance and then add pictures later on so that's all up to you and this is going to be my travel journal and I well, of course, maybe I can show it to you when we are on a holiday. I'm not going to do lives, uh, regular lives uh, from there because we are traveling in a, a camper van. And I did a live twice from there, but it was quite a hustle <laughs> to do it and to get a parking place uh, on time. Um, we didn't know where we would end up that day, so it was uh, quite stressful and... To be honest, I want to join my holiday now, so... <laughs> um, but maybe I can do a spontaneous live and show you something, or I will show it to you when we get back. So, this is my travel journal. I'm going to put that one aside for now, make a little bit more room over here. And for now, I want to add some more pages in my regular journal. So, that's this one. And for those who haven't seen anything of this one yet, um, it's probably, oh yeah, it's not probably, it is on my YouTube channel also because I work on it uh, regularly, <laughs> regelmatig, let's say. <laughs> um, let me see, what are, oh yeah, okay, this is my uh, week by week journal. I always work uh, in weeks and I'm trying to keep up. Um, yeah, with journaling every week, just uh, things that happen in our lives, like uh, simple things like doing groceries or uh, going out with the grandchildren or sometimes uh, special occasions, of course, but that's my, uh, yeah, my regular journal. Um, the theme for this one, these months, is uh, a red, white, blue, a little bit postage style, as you can see. And the last things I did online were, I think, these two pages, or this one for sure, because this was with David. Uh, David is, of course, uh, one of the members of our design team. And we had a meeting um, the other day. Uh, <laughs> I'm wiping my head. Sorry, if you hear something, it's terribly warm over here. The echo is uh, turned on, but it's not really helpful at the moment. <laughs> So it's still warm over here. So if you hear something strange, <laughs> I'm dabbing my face. <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, oh, a sneak peek. Yes, I will do a sneak peek too. Please uh, help me uh, remind uh, that uh, towards the end of the, the live. Okay. So these were the last uh, picture I did. I did this yesterday or and this afternoon. Here's a little, uh, well, a great picture of our oldest granddaughter with uh, their dog, <laughs> one of their dogs. This is Lana. She is an Australian Labrador and she is so cute. She is really, it's a, an adorable, uh, adorable dog. <laughs> and uh, an adorable girl, of course. And over here you can see our youngest granddaughter. She turned three uh, on May 31 and oh welcome to my world susan is it that warm with you too oh my gosh yes <laughs> um well oh my i i miss all the comments sorry sorry the travel thing yes i will do a sneak peek i won't be organized oh that's tracy <laughs> Yes, that's really a cute dog. We we uh, we also have two Australian Labradoodles, but their furs are so different. Um, yeah, it depends on the the mother and the father of the the puppies, of course. But uh, we've got a blonde one, and her uh, fur, her yeah, her hair <laughs> is really uh, a little bit tough. Then we have Cobus. He is brown and he is more soft, and this one is really adorable. <laughs> Uh, she's also really soft and has those long brown teddy bear like uh, hair so that's a really cute one okay our uh, youngest granddaughter uh, Sarah uh, something for her birthday below here and here's another picture of her uh, blowing three candles uh, this was my um, oh, how do you say it now that's me again i can't remember the dashboard yeah of the month of june so as you can see i'm a little bit behind yes the um, the photo sleeves they will be available for the sidekick planners too um not sure when they will arrive but we are working on them 
It's hot in Las Vegas, Cindy. Oh, I can imagine how warm it should be there. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> thank you, Sherry. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mar Marianne, for, for liking and sharing. Okay, my dashboard for the month of June. So, as you can see, uh, we are already in July and I have nothing done. <laughs> oh, Marga, hi! <laughs> how is Denmark? <laughs> I saw you today on Facebook that you were traveling in Denmark. I hope you like it over there. I want to know everything when you come back, okay? <laughs> and Susan, hum humidity. Oh, Debbie, do you have fires in, in, in the UK too? That's no good. No, we are not used to it at all, Honora. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Rain in Belgium. Okay, is it regent at all? Oh, heerlijk. <laughs> if it's going to rain, I'm going to stand outside. Okay, so my daily journal. I need to work on um, a page extra. I'm going to put this one in here. And uh, I'm not sure if Marga is still watching, but uh, the other day, I think this was, oh, it was in June, we went away. We both have uh, approximately the same uh, camper van. So I'm going to put in some pictures of that weekend. And I had a picture, I thought I had another picture. I'm not sure where it is. Let me see. Oh yeah. One of the, one, another picture of our granddaughter walking outside. And she was walking on the, the border of the uh, sidewalk. Is that how you call it? So I wrote down living on the edge. <laughs> it's about 10 centimeters high, but for her, it was pretty um, exciting to do that. So I think I'm going to put that one over here, turning on some lights. It's getting darker. Hold on, I need more lights. So um, I'm going to put this one aside and I'm going to start with this first. And then if I have more time, I can do the other picture too. I hope that's okay with you. So these are the pocket pages. And uh, it's a little bit hard for you to see because when I'm working with those, and um, the light is uh, turned on uh, above me. It's on top of my desk over here. It's a little bit shiny, so I hope this works. Well, here, as you can see, I screwed up with um, printing my pictures this afternoon because these were too large. And then I was thinking, okay, these are too small because I want to use them in the pocket pages like this. So what I was thinking, maybe this is fun. I put the, the large and the small one on top of each other. I hope you can see it. It's not too shiny. I think the world is living on the edges these days. Yes, Kathy, you are so right. <laughs> the world has gone crazy sometimes. Never been hot this for... I'm trying to read the comments, so... <laughs> oh, thank you, Sherry. It's very scary. Very unusual and scary. Oh my, let me see. I think I missed something. I'm trying to read back. Oh, the fires. Yes, 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 yes. What did I use to write on the picture? You want over here? Charlotte? Yeah, there. Oh, Marga, you're still here. Yes, it was really fun. And we had great weather. Besides a little bit of rain. So I think I'm... Um, on the pictures, this is uh, what I did with uh, one of the photo apps I'm using. Oh, this lamp is also a little bit annoying. I'm turning that one off. It's the wrong one, I think. I'm not sure. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is what you do with a photo app on my phone. And then you can print it. So I was thinking it might be fun to do this. I mean, I can throw those away, but that's a waste of pictures, don't you think? Um, this is the reservation sign, it has written our name on it, so the picture is not that clear, but I think it might be fun to put it in anyway. It's not completely sharp, and it's really shiny, oh my gosh. I hope you can see it. Um, a bit cooler, but Linda's place. Yeah, on the curb of the sidewalk, that was what I was looking for. <laughs> Yes, I print my pictures myself, Vicky. I'm using um, um, a selfie square, that's this one, or a selfie, I think it's uh, a 1300. 
and um, yeah, I like using I like using them. Uh, I must say this one is quite new. I don't have it for such a long time, uh, so I didn't use that one really uh, often yet. But the other one, it's well, it's printing almost every day. <laughs> I must say, uh, David, no, he's not here. I think is he here? No, I don't think so. Um, what size are the picture openings, Kathy? You mean the pocket pages? It's the same size as the, the, the pocket itself. So this is 2 by 2 inch, this is 3 by 4 inch, same here. So they open up uh, completely at the top. I hope this helps. David is here. Hi David! <laughs> good to see you. I don't see you actually, but it's good to know you are here. Okay, I'm going to put this one in here. Um, with those pocket pages you can work a little bit quicker than for me it works um, um, the pocket pages it works a little bit quicker than uh, decorating a full planner page so uh, in my case at the moment I'm quite behind um, my weekly pages so that's why I decided to use a little bit more pocket pages and put in some pictures so um, yeah, for me that's quick and easy to work with. Flickering screen, frozen, oh I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. And I just keep going on and I hope you all can hear me. <laughs> that's really strange. Okay, I do my best and I hope um, your um, connection will be okay soon so you can follow me and see what I'm doing my screen is fine oh that's good to hear Belinda <laughs> so I'm going to put in those two <laughs> Facebook we want cooler weather yeah that's a good one Femke <laughs> Alice all okay yes I'm back oh good to see Ants. <laughs> okay, so this is my picture which I thought was a little bit too large, but now it's okay. But I think it's a waste of money and paper to throw the small one away. So I'm going to put this one, I mean it's exactly the same picture, only smaller, and I'm just going to put it on top. Marga, you opened it again. Okay, maybe that helps other people. <laughs> go out of uh, the Facebook live and um, try to join us again I hope that works okay I'm going I'm not going to put it in this uh, in the corner of the picture I'm going to put it in the corner of the the mat of the paper so it's a little bit off the edge I hope that makes sense and I hope you can see what I'm doing I want to keep it a little bit closer to the camera so you can see I, I didn't line it up with the picture in the background but I lined it up with um, the paper, the background itself. So I think this is a really nice effect and it's a really simple uh, way of um, adding quick pages to your journal. And I am looking for a piece of scrap paper now <laughs> because oh, I need to use my pen, yes it's working. I think it's a little bit... Um, too little contrast so I think I'm going to put a little black line on the outside of the paper just to give it a little bit of extra detail okay not sure if you can see it on screen <laughs> hi Michelle good to see you too hi Rick <laughs> you're there too yeah I think it looks pretty cool don't you think two pictures on top of each other it's not that bad I'm going to do a quick line on these edges too okay this one so it looks a little bit less boring in my opinion this way okay so I am going to slide those in I think I will do this one on the top. Oh no, wait. 
I have one more. See, the two of us, when we were driving there, so I think we have to start with this one first. Oh, let me see. I am going to do... And then we got there and we found the reservation sign. So this one has to go here. Needs to be a little bit in order. And then I am going to put this on the back side of this one. Hmm. Might be a little bit boring, but um, because of the patent paper, it's quite okay with me to do it this way. I mean, don't spend too much time thinking about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, Belinda, did you post pictures of the, the suitcase journal? Let me see, what else are you saying? I need to... Oh, you had to put it together with little change. Oh, can't... I'm, I'm not sure if, if you have posted pictures on, on, uh, on our Facebook group. Did you already do that? Or you don't want to show it to us? That's also possible. A white dot in the middle. I don't know. So I am going to put this one inside here. And you can see how easy it is to make some fun pages. Then I've got one here and also with this one I can do the same but I think that's a little bit too much doing um, the same effect twice. But maybe I can put it, I can put it in this corner but uh, because this uh, picture the small one doesn't have the white edge um, it's not so contrasting not sure if I should do that what do you think the bold background makes yeah okay thank you <laughs> oh Patricia you missed it well you can watch it back Tracy you're also making uh, a mini journal also the suitcase one Tracy I hope I didn't miss some important comments, but <laughs> it's always a little bit hard to uh, do a live, watch all the comments, trying to talk with you. Yes, there's a reflection of the light above. Is that what you mean? If I'm... but I need some light here. <laughs> Hi Monica, good to see you. Oh, thank you. That's really kind of you. Only one picture, yes. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm going to put that one over there. So, I'm going to take some tape. Yes, that's also possible, Sherry. Mad it on white and then add it. Hi, Kathleen. Good to see you too. It's always fun to do a Facebook or uh, a live on the Elizabeth Crafty Science. Uh, Facebook page because there are so many uh, people with so many um, different nationalities over here. Hi Wilma! <laughs> well, better late than never. Uh, you haven't shown anything with some of the ECD food stamps, food type stamps. Mm, Sue, what do you mean? You haven't shown any food stamps. Um, let me see. Okay, this one was going here. And over there so you see quite quickly I added four pictures uh, in my journal I'm not going to use this one because uh, I, I know I can met it with white but I think it's going to be a little bit too much doing it twice the same on the same page maybe I should have done it with this picture but I don't have that one twice so that's not going to happen um, and let me see Kleintje weg okay I wanted to add something here, of course, and I was thinking, I took out some stamps earlier, yes, where are they? Um, hmm. These probably will fit too, but I like those, these are from one of the reminiscence books, and I like um, them because it looks like they've got a, a reinforcer over here, and I was thinking about using this, love this stamp. And that's over here. Where is my stamping block? Yes, I agree too with you, Katty. <laughs> and 
I think I'm going to put that one here. Where is my inky? Uh, when I stamp, I always put down a little soft piece of foam. It's just a piece of black foam. <laughs> oh, and it's a little bit dirty. Can you see? <laughs> okay, wipe my hands. I think, Sue, I think I know which one you mean. These are from one of the uh, previous Christmas releases from two years ago, I think. Okay, I have to put it a little bit closer because I can't stamp um, otherwise. You probably see will we'll see my hair, but I'm not sure. <laughs> and I hope I ink them okay yes that's it so let it dry for a few seconds and then i can slide it back in oh, no, i will leave it like this because i want to do something fun on this one too shall i also stamp over there none of this let me see oh, this one will be cool over here Memories is making them. I think I will go for that one. Collect moments, not things. Where is it? Over here. Putting back this one. No hair showing. Okay, that's good. <laughs> to take it out otherwise I will be stamping on the page protector itself pocket page how do you want to call them pocket pages page protectors yeah you are my happy place that's also oh I can do those on the back side the happy place or I can turn this one around mm, no not sure yet okay hair again sorry Okay, there's another one. And now I have to figure something out for the back side. As you can see, ah, I see my hair now. <laughs> you saw my hair. Um, there's nothing on the back. And they need to dry for a few seconds. Um, let me see, where are those frames? Maybe I have a few more, but I can also do these on the back. Yeah, actually, I think I should add a, a small picture in here, but I don't have small pictures uh, on hand by now. So, hmm, I will leave the back side for what it is for now, and I can add something later because I need to print pictures, and I can't do that now because I'm filming with my phone. I'm recording uh, the Facebook Live with my phone, and I need that one, um, yeah, when I want to print a picture. So, okay. I will leave it like this. I'm sure they will be dry now, so these will go in here. Now, how fun is this? And I am going to put it in my journal. And then I will take a little sip from my drink <laughs> and read your comments. I hope you are able to see it, despite of the shiny texture of the page protectors or pocket pages I think it's okay like this okay let me take something to drink Deborah um, what it is uh, was <laughs> what is it you have your stamps in ah you mean those um, pockets these are actually uh, I think it's from oh, a brand let me think um, it's a scrapbooking brand um, oh, my brains leave me in the lurch sometimes um, 
I can't come up the name with the name. I'm sorry. It's like uh, pocket pages, and they are uh, stitched together like this, two on top of each other, and the ring binder is over here. Uh, it's also some Project Life thingy, simple stories, I think it is. So they've got the binder rings over here, and then you've got two of those pockets on top of each other, and I cut them in half, and I trim off uh, the rings. So then uh, my stamps suit them. But that's what I do for quite some years already. And I'm not sure if they are still available, but I think they will be. So they are also pocket pages. I hope this helps. Hi Laurie, good to see you. A heart in the center, oh yes. That's the one in framed love. That's also a good idea, Kathy. <laughs> Yes, you can copy me. That's no problem at all, Debbie. <laughs> I'm here to give you inspiration and um, please copy. Be my guest. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave this for now because I need to find some, in, uh, indeed, maybe a heart or a, a small picture to put on the back side. You can put in a stamp, maybe. That's fun too, but I'm not going to do that. Do we have time? Yes, I think I've got about 15 minutes. And I'm going to try to do something with this picture on this page. Not sure if it will work, but um, I need to put some things aside because the mess is getting <laughs> bigger and bigger. Okay, here's again my red, white and blue ephemera. And I wanted to use something on this page because this hasn't got any red at all. So maybe I have to, oh, maybe I, I can add some red. Oh, hold on. Don't forget the um, reinforcers. I think they're a little bit too big for those, but I can give it a try. So I want this page to have a little bit red too. And I'm going to take the small reinforcers. And that's why I'm always happy um, the above oh my gosh did I miss something light great stem set yes th Debbie those little pockets are quite hard but you can also print uh, pictures on two by two inches if you have a selfie oh no it's a little bit too big do you see the red one it's much bigger much larger than um, the hole I made so I'm going to make the hole a little bit larger too so it's not so that looks much better and it has just a little pop of red on these pages too and i'm not sure what happens here but i keep losing your comments so I, every time i have to touch the screen again to see your comments <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea too, uh, Belinda. Avery L. Maybe they have got the same size. I, I don't know. But if you have pockets like uh, four by six inch, they would be fine to store your stamps in. Yeah, a gel pen to write on photos. Actually, I do never write on photos. Do you? If I want to put something on pictures, I am um, going to. I'm using an app because I don't like my handwriting on pictures. And what if you mess it up, you know, on a picture? Then you have to print the picture again. And for me, it's easier to use an app to do so. You see, there's a little bit, a little touch of red on this side. Okay, this is the date I wrote on. Okay, this picture has way too, um, way too much white on it, so. I need to trim it down. Let me see. Okay. I'm going to close this one down first because I don't want to have the reinforcers all over the floor. Okay. And my paper trimmer. I'm using the small one uh, for 
cutting pictures. I want to leave a, a small white border around the picture, so I'm trimming off uh, a lot of the white, but not everything. If you leave a little bit white around your pictures, then it's always, um, yeah, I like it. It's just like you have been matting them and it gives you a little bit more of dimension or another extra layer when you put another piece of paper behind it. So, okay, that one is going to be there. But now there's a lot of stuff <laughs> laying around here. Okay, I will... I think I'm going to take the page out. That's easier for me to work and easier for you to see. And then I can put this a little bit more in front of the camera. Okay, let me see. Looks like a bullseye. <laughs> yes. Constantly have to tap the screen if no comments. Yes. That's not me, Belinda, so it's Facebook who's doing that. Oh, David has to Avery once. That's good. <laughs> Never write on your... Oh, sneak peek. Oh, my. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't write on the pictures. No. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> sneak peek. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got something uh, laying around here, so I can do a sneak peek. This one is laying around here for ages already and I still didn't use it. Not sure if I like it here because it's too red, too much red now. So I need some blue. Blue, blue. Oh, a bingo card. Maybe that's... This is a sturdy one. It's an old one. Hi, Timmy. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, I think I like this better. The bingo card. And maybe I should add some red uh, as a net. And now I need to look for red paper. And the other day I was in a store in Holland and I found some more of this red paper. So they make me very happy. <laughs> and I need another sheet. See? Some pieces left. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of red behind this picture and then add it on top of the blue bingo card. I think that looks good. Okay. Now you can do two things or start measuring and then trim it off or you can just glue it down and then do a little bit of eyeballing. <laughs> oh Susan, please feel free to shop in my store. <laughs> Have you seen my Etsy store? If not, uh, if you go to Etsy and then look for um, my store and it's called Badass Paper Lover. So I'm going to do a little bit of eyeballing and it's not that difficult with the little um, squares but they are not completely straight that's what I notice now no they're not straight okay who cares going to take my large scissors and now it's a little bit hard because it's not straight at all I'm going to trim this one first and see where I end up okay too large now. Okay, I need to take something off, but it's easier for me now to look at the, the lines on my uh, paper trimmer than do that by hand. I think this will work. Uh, thank you, Jen. Oh, the name, Charlotte? The name of my Etsy store is Badass Paper Lover. And that's all ephemera. <laughs> I think this looks pretty cool already, so I need to move this. Shall I leave the word bingo over here? What do you think? I mean, bingo, living on the edge, why not? And these are some leftovers from old uh, airmail envelopes, so it might be fun to do something with those too somewhere. <laughs> it's a little bit tight because the bingo 
card is quite large, I must say. Hmm. I always do it like this, like um, laying it uh, loose like this. Don't glue it immediately and then see if it works out for me. Oh yes, of course I can ship to the UK. I ship worldwide, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. I ship if you see all the countries I've been shipping uh, packages to. That's really fun. I think over 40 different countries or so. A uh, little bit red, more red, more red. Let me see. Okay. Then we need more reinforcers over here. I need a tap or something or, oh, wait, 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 wait here. Highlights. Might be fun too. This is too large. This is too much. <laughs> Maybe. And you see, I'm just playing around with pieces of paper and moving it around on my planner page and see what fits and what don't f doesn't fit or what I don't like or whatever it is that makes me happy and you know you don't have to um, yeah, how do you say it you have to make things you you like yourself you don't make it for anybody else unless you are making a gift of course but um, it has to make yourself happy that's the most important thing, don't you know? Don't you think so? Oh, thank you so much, Sue, for sharing the link. You are the best. Oh, and yes, Sue, I've been shipping to you quite some time already. You see how it goes, like this? And maybe a little stamp extra over there. Oh, we only have five minutes left, so... <laughs> it's funny oh you mean the writing on this now I do understand what you mean this is what I also did with an app there are quite a few apps which you can use um, let me think one of them is called and it has those cute little fonts and embellishments and I'm not sure where I'm going to place this one I'm trying to um, make little clusters Clusters, do you say it in English? Yes. <laughs> uh, three or more items at the same place. I'm going to sh move it down a little bit. <laughs> so, and I, I need some black too. So, but this is too much and you don't see the sentiment over here anymore. But you can do, or maybe around here it's just an extra pop of color using a little bit of black so I think I am going to leave it like this and I'm putting it aside very carefully so I can glue it down later um, because I want to show you something of the new release which is coming um, let me see hi pet good to see you <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're late you can always rewatch um, the live if you want. So, um, well, this is the way I, I work, just building up a page with different elements, using all kinds of things like uh, die cut pieces, ephemera, and whatever is laying around here. I do have some um, bags or envelopes, and I've been sorting ephemera by color. So I've got one with orange, one with greens, uh, one with blue, one with red, but also one with red, white and blue, so... Oh yeah, the Rona app, that's what I was looking for. Rona, that's it. I think you have to pay uh, for it, but it's a really nice app to use. So, let me see if I can very carefully move this one away. <laughs> so I know what to do when I want to glue it down. Okay, and as we have been talking about pocket pages all evening, I am going to show you uh, a pocket page 
which I have already been making for um, <laughs> my December day by day. I'm working on that one already because the release which is coming out next week will be um, uh, um, Christmas in July. <laughs> And that's rather strange for us over here in Holland because, um, well, we don't do Christmas in July. But else, um, she says um, that you in the US um, do a lot of Christmas in July things. So that's why we did, um, uh, why we are doing the release this month. Um, and I was thinking, okay, pocket pages, Christmas. So um, uh, that's the only thing I'm going to show it to you now. So there's also going to be, here it is, <laughs> and of course you don't have to use everything for Christmas. You can use it for a wintry theme or uh, a fall. It's not, yeah, of course there is Christmas, there are Christmas elements, but you can use them also for winter or fall or things like that. So uh, what I did in those pocket pages, here you can see some of the new stamps, large bulky stamps. Uh, this is one of the dice and a stamp, the deer, with candles. And uh, there's also going to be some new paper. And it's not a book this time because we are in between uh, different books. So it's going to be, um, how do you say it? Um, the, the sheets, 30 by 30, 12 by 12 inch. So um, there's going to be a paper set with 12 by 12 inch papers uh, for Christmas. And this is also from the paper set. You can trim those, uh, cut them out. Uh, and they are four by six inches approximately um, from one of the this is from the paper sets and I think else showed you um, Christmas in August yeah <laughs> oh thanks Michelle thank you and again the paper is an issue again uh, because the paper is hard to get at the moment all kinds of paper and the printing companies save uh, paper for their regular customers so it's a lot of things going on <laughs> getting our supplies so but we are working on it um, else showed you a little paper clip already I think that one is also over here uh, this is one of the tags also in the paper pad we do have some new stamps um, with the same frames we had uh, earlier so new stamps uh, these are Christmas themed, Santa Claus Express, Winter Days, and, oh, and two more tags, also from the paper uh, set. So, that's all I'm going to show you for now. <laughs> Otherwise, else will kill you, kill me, sorry. <laughs> she doesn't want to kill you, she wants to kill me, if I'm going to show you too much. Okay, uh, I think that was it for today and, and I think we are quite on time too. It's nine o'clock already over here. So I think in the UK it is 8 p.m. And somewhere in the US, wherever you are, around noon, one o'clock, two o'clock, <laughs> wherever you are. Um, I thank you very much for watching. And well, hopefully I will see you soon again for another live. Uh, I think... For this coming Friday, it will be David who is doing a live. And well, I hope to see you soon. And thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day uh, or a great rest of the evening. And uh, hopefully we will see each other very soon. Thank you again. Bye bye.